Hi, this is Mirko Hensken and I want to welcome you to our first in-depth tutorial about AutoWait. And this chapter is called Selection. We're going to learn everything about getting and setting regions, importing and exporting regions, and as well as erasing your regions. First of all, make sure that you have selected a model, for example, this little guy here. And now we are jumping right into skinning. When it comes to skin a character or a mechanical part or whatever, the first thing I have tried to do is to set it up automatically. In this case, you just hit the setup color button without selecting anything else than the model in object mode. Those regions that have been defined are exactly the same amount as bones as they have been found in your model. If you want less regions, then this is possible. If you want more regions, then you will have to include more bones. Because you can only have as many regions as bones as there are in your team or in your hierarchy. In this case, I'm not quite confident with my character, so I have to tweak the selection or the regions a little bit. And the first thing I can always do is to select regions manually by just picking points from one region or more, for example, I could, and then I just hit the Get Region button and I get every region that is corresponding to the point. Then you hit Setup and you create a new region. What you can also do is use your selection tools, grow the selection and create a new one like that. If you want to store your region, then you just hit the Export button, store them to a file, AWB in this case, and you can re-import them by the Import button. The next thing, what you, what you could do, is to select your object by element. For example, if you say, I don't want to pick every point of this eye, it's quite tedious, then you could change the element and hit the element button. What you can see is that all your isolated elements, like those rings and the eyes, have become one region, and that little guy is another region. That might be useful, for example, mechanical parts or isolated parts. For region painting, you have to use the vertex paint modifier, and then I set the brush options to min strength to 1 and max strength to 1 to be sure that I don't have a follow-up in the brush. And I could also use the mirror functionality. After that, I pick the color of the pelvis region, or what will be the pelvis region. Then I set up the vertex color. I set up the color for the region, or what will be the region. And then I can start painting. And I also want to change those shoulders, you can see here. For the legs, I don't use the mirror function, because I already have different colors and different regions here. So I just want to color the region here and mirror it later on the other side. Remember, you can always use the set vertex mode or the row selection. Right now, I just want to expand the region of this arm. Therefore, you would take the modifier, that, select every point, and then just hit the setup button again, and then the region has become newly defined. The next thing is to mirror the region we have defined here on the other side. So you have to determine if you are mirroring from minus x to x, or from x to minus x, or in which direction you want. In this case, we have to mirror from x to minus x, and that's what has been checked here. So I just select the region, or even just a couple of points, and then I hit the mirror button. Remember, we also changed the arm. That's why I select those points here and just hit the mirror function. If your points are a little bit off on this side, you can always try to compensate it by using a higher threshold, but the mirror function is very strict when it comes to mirror geometry. The model has been set up, and I just want to make sure that I don't lose anything, so I just hit the export button again and save it. In the next chapter, you will learn to calculate skin and to change skin values.